Oh, I wish it would have ended up here earlier, but here's the valve cover gasket. I'm getting ready to pull all that work I just did off earlier and uh, put the valve cover gasket on so we can stop this oil leak. Well, here's the culprit. I got the new valve cover gasket here. I ordered it a while ago. That gasket is completely flat. There's no ridge on it whatsoever. You can see where it's been leaking oil all out the bottom here. But uh, yeah, I was looking and inspecting the valves here. You guys can see I've been up in here. And it actually looks really good inside there. I was actually quite surprised by how good it looks, but you can see down there at the bottom where all the oil's been leaking off at. That gasket was not making a very good seal at all. It's the old gasket lining it right now. I put a put the new gasket on there and put fresh oil around it. So get ready to insert this back into the scooter here. I believe this side goes up. So I'm just gonna press that back on there and then put the four bolts back on. Really, really simple, simple job. So let me go ahead and slap this back into place. I need a screw. Unfortunately, I need two hands to do this, but you can see how it works. Let's make sure the uh, pressure. Uh, valve is on the top. That's to relieve the head pressure. It's basically positive crankcase ventilation. Just make sure it's upright and you should be good to go. Push it back on there. Put your screws back in and you are pretty much done with this job. Just don't over tighten it. By the way guys, I forgot to mention the tools. Uh, 3H ratchet, 8mm, uh, um, one extension and that's pretty much it man. The new gasket, a little bit of oil to put over it. I just put everything back together so it's all back on there. It's been fitted. Line's been reconnected, so we shouldn't have any more leaking oil. You can see all that, you can see all that oil, all that clear spray down there. See all that? It's just been blowing all up in here. So that should resolve the issue. Now I went ahead and cleaned this off real good with some uh, degreaser. So now all I have to do is put this back on, put the one screw in, and we're pretty much done. So this is literally how easy that job was. Was just slide this back into place, give a smack. Until it lines up put the screw in and that's it valve job done all right start her up make sure she's not leaking oh let's just turn it on here. No leaky leaks. Idle's good. 1,567 miles. Thank you.